From tennis champion to an award-winning tobacco auctioneer, and now an accomplished artist, Bob Cage has spent his lifetime successfully pursuing his passions. We join him on the Cage Farm in South Boston, Virginia, where he describes the inspiration for his sculptures and paintings. What I do is try to find interesting pieces. If I get enough pieces, if it's nothing but wheels or whatever, I'll put it aside. Right, like right here, this is old sewing machines. Well, it's wonderful. You start putting it together. I guess, who was it who said, art is anything you can get by with. And I only paint intuitively. I just go in and start pushing paint around. And I don't usually throw anything away. I paint on masonite, and I use a lot of enamel. I'll use most anything that seems to work for me. And if it paint dries and I don't like it, I'll put it aside and come back to it, you know, at another time. And then sort of paint over it. And I've always got that those colors under there and put something on top of it and, and get back to the colors. It, with steel wool or turpentine or something. And it, you know, I don't want to tell too many of my secrets here. <laughs> That's a pretty bad thing to say, you know that. You'd think I was a real artist, but it's a passion. And fortunately, you know, I've got right many pieces in the town here, and um, they seem to appreciate it. But it's, it's just um, the urge to, to be creative, I think. And uh, it's a bigger life, you know. It expands your horizons so much. And I do a lot of things. I catch a lot of different things, and I enjoy them all. You got to. But I did sell one recently for 4000 I sold another for 2500 And if I get enough of those, it'll really inspire me. <laughs> Money always inspires you, right? Uh, I grew up pretty much in Halifax, and um, it was a wonderful place to grow up. And um, I didn't know it till later. And I, wherever I went, to California and Texas, and working in different places and overseas and everything, I knew I was coming back. And I'm really glad I did. And hopefully I'll make a difference here. I'm getting pretty old. I better do something soon, I think. 